Welcome to the Zebra BI May update. Boy, have we got news for you this month. Number one, we have released a new version of all the three Zebra BI visuals. Number two, we are organizing Action 2022, the biggest event on actionable reporting this year. Number three, we've got new content with downloadable dashboard templates. And number four, a special surprise at the end. So stay with me until the end of this video. And in the meantime, let's see what's new. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to our product development corner. We've just submitted our 5.4 product update, which took us a bit longer than expected because we had to make sure it works perfectly with the Power BI's May version. And of course, we were polishing all the business cases that you use. In this video, I'm going to show you a few of the features that I mentioned last time, but today we can go a little bit into more details. So first, we're going to start with the Zebra BI cards visual. The first feature are the font settings. Now you can completely customize the font size and the font color to match your report's design. The second feature is the year-to-date performance tracking. Now we correctly compare, for example, five months of this year to five months of the previous year, whereas previously we were comparing five months of this year to the total of previous year. In our charts visual, we have another wonderful new improvement. The color coding feature means that each legend entry gets the same color as the matching chart series. The second feature, scenario notation, enables you to select a column in a waterfall chart and pick a correct pattern for either plan, previous year or forecast. In Zebra BI tables, we added another neat feature, which is the ability to move comment markers between different columns in the table, so it's much clearer what each comment references. This month, we also published a brand new guide on our website. It's called Top 6 Power BI Dashboard Examples, and it includes the following dashboards. Sales Funnel, Sales Dashboard, Consolidated Financials, Dynamic Comments, Income Statement, and price volume mix variance analysis. The dashboards are specifically designed to clearly explain the four question insight test. Each section of the guide includes a brief description of the dashboard, interactive embed, so you can try that in your browser, uh, unique Zebra BI advantage, and of course, the download button so you can download the dashboard and make it your own. Finally, at the end of each section, you can find related resources if you want to dig deeper into a certain topic. I hope you'll find this guide useful, and if you have any suggestions which dashboard we can include next, please let us know in the comments. This month brings one of the biggest announcements so far. We are so excited to invite you to the world's first all-virtual summit about actionable reporting. You will be able to take a peek at the reporting best practices from some of the market leading companies. Join experts from Microsoft, PwC, Liebherr Earthmoving, Bayer, Abvi, KPN and Enterprise DNA and learn about the international business communication standards from the founder and president of the IBCS Institute himself. More than 2,000 actionable reporting fans have already registered. So if you're not one of them yet, go to zebrabi.com slash action2022 and don't miss this unique opportunity. You will get the chance to share real life experiences with the experts, to network with other participants, or simply to just get some ideas for your reports and dashboards. Mark your calendar on June 9th and get ready to take action. I hope that these resources will help you create even more actionable reports and dashboards in Power BI. But one more thing, we've got something for Excel, something quite exciting. So make sure to check the link and see if you can get into the beta program of a brand new product that we are building for Excel. For more details, make sure to read the in-depth article and see you at the next update.